everyone, and welcome back to Empire Total War with Darth Mod. So we have this battle going, and then we'll see about ending turn and mopping up some stuff uh, here in Eastern Europe. However, something that I miss, I mean, I'm supposed to be Great Britain and rule the waves, but I completely missed the fact that we've got an army on the way here. Uh, and I've actually already landed another one, which they landed here. So they got a full stack, ready to attack this fort right here. Now, luckily, I'd already started recruiting some extra troops because I was going to take on the guys that were causing trouble here. But that's going to be difficult to deal with those. I believe this one... This navy is probably going to Sardinia, and uh, you know what? The best idea here is probably to go ahead and deal with these guys. Otherwise, we're probably in for quite the nasty time. Hopefully, this will do. You know what? I want to do the land battle, so we're gonna go ahead and outro assault this. Also, the naval battles have a tendency to kind of crash. Edward Hawke, first Baron of Hawke, deployed 30 ships, lost 12, 18 remaining, 10 enemies killed, 5 enemy ships captured. I think we're going to take all the captured ships. Well, we're going to see what they are. 4th rate, 4th rate, 2nd rate, 5th rate. You know what? No, we don't want the, any of these ships. We'll sell them. Um, boom, that was good. We managed to sort of ish, we didn't actually sink them, which we really need to do. Maybe you lead the charge this time around. Don't I have another fleet close by? No. And after this, these two navies will be kind of uh, useless. We can't let this this guy get through. Probably time to have this one lead the attack this time around. Maybe I should have combined my fleets at this point. Anyways, let's go and out resolve this one as well. Victory for this one as well. We lost six ships this time around, leaving 12. Uh, but n at this point, I probably shouldn't be any Ottoman ships left. There's still Ottoman ships left. God damn it. There's two of them. But the thing is, our our navy was completely, utterly cut to pieces here. I'm gonna have to bring in this one. With all the uh, new ships recruited, what we need to do is we need to block the access to uh, Sardinia. And then what we're going to do is we're going to have these two port at the port on Sardinia. Are the ships going to crash there? Nope, they just missed each other. Good. Um, and then we could go ahead and repair these ships. God damn it, I lost a lot of, lot of ships there. Bloody Ottomans. I need to recruit tons of ships. The thing though is once we've dealt with Ottomans, um, there's not a lot of other great naval powers we need to deal with. Wonder why the uh, Juno wants to put these many men, this many men, on Corsica. It's kind of strange how Corsica is even in its region of its own. Anyway, that was dealt with. I'm not entirely sure what we're going to do with that battle right there. That was going to be crazy. Um, but without further ado, we're going to go ahead and have this. Battle commence. Royal Irish is going to have to stay there. <laughs> Boom. There's going to be a lot of troops. But after this, I was going to say we can uh, go ahead and sue for peace. But no, we cannot. 9,000 with 7,000 men reinforcing. This is going to be a very big battle. There's going to be about then... Uh, 17,000 enemies against our 7,000 under Edward Braddock. This one is going to have to be played very carefully. 
got a lot of booming though. Anyways, without further ado, the great battle of the plains of Syria, or the mountains of Syria, I should say. I have drawn up my defensive position, as you can see right in front of us. So what we got right here is the Black Watch, which stretches all the way until the end there where the Coldstream Guard takes over. Right here we got Colonial Line Infantry, and they're going to take up the flank. We got the Hussars ready to move out here, chase down anyone once the enemy starts to retreat. As I said, Coldstream Guard goes through here and all the way up to the edge followed by guard, um, line infantry guards, which will spread out and take control of the hill. Back here, general, followed by cuirassier. And let's see, we've got the Highlander Grenadiers uh, back here as a reserve. We've got three units, or actually four units, of British Fusiliers. Since they can deploy uh, stakes, I'm going to send them up in front of the cannons in front here and place as many stakes as possible because I imagine a lot of Ottoman cavalry. Um, and yes, these are the the uh, line infantry guards that will move up and secure the hill above us here. And here we've got the howitzers. Howitzers ready to fire as soon as this starts. Got an arc covering um, about... <laughs> 25% of the enemy's spawn start. Not entirely sure where they're going to put their troops, but hopefully that will be enough. I've got the cannons up in front, uh, ready with canister. We're going to hold off on setting them to fire at will, though, since I want to move up these guys to set out stakes. Anyways, let's go ahead and start this and get these quick up in front and. Holy shit, that's a lot of enemies. That's tons and tons of just Armenian archers. Tons and tons of cavalry. Shit. Am I even going to have time to deploy the bloody stakes? Let's see, this one. Deploy, deploy. 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 No entirely sure we might have no time to do this. We got Mamluks coming in. We got bloody, I mean, given the amount of units there, there's at least 10 units, so there may be maybe 4,000 Armenian archers. Okay, get the stakes up, please get them up. We can hold back the stupid Ottoman cavalry. Okay, we got these guys, got their stakes up. Uh, these guys haven't. And these guys haven't either. Well, now these guys got their up. So these two units can fall back. We also just lost one of the cannons. Come on, get your stake. Oh, and there we go. They've all got their stakes out right now. And they can retreat back. And that will be sufficient, I think, to defend the cannons against the enemy onslaught as soon. As our infantry has passed, I will tell the canister or the cannons to open up fire with canister coming in here. Because look at the amount of infantry. Oh shit, what will happen here? Infantry guard has. It looks like they were falling apart. They're supposed to be at stand ground. Oh shit. Why are you turning? God damn it. Hold your ground, sir. Come on, get the canister going. Don't. Don't. God damn it. There goes a canister, but damn. The enemy was able to push through, and there's so many of them. Look at them. Don't abandon your bloody guns. I hate to hear them, stupid bastards. Right, fall back then, you bloody whores. Uh, how it's this? Let's see. I'm a bit agitated because I had a few crashes. And that's why I'm using foul language. Right. Get up there. And then you guys are going to take control of the hill. 
God damn it, the uh, the uh, canister. The fact that we're not going to get the canister up and running is very bad. Stupid Ottoman cavalry just charging straight into it. Right, get the Highlander Grenadiers up there to support the um, Coldstream Guards. And I'm just going to deploy these guys on the edge here. And then we should go to normal speed. Come on, get that cavalry away from here. Okay, th these two cold stream are gonna take a new route like that. God damn it. Um, boy, like that. There's so many Ottomans. Okay, I want to get those guys back on their guns as soon as possible. Shoot on those bloody Mamluks and get them away from here. You need to get back in your... Yes, get back in order. You guys firing. Um, probably need to pair throwing uh, grenades here. Come on, open up on these guys. Get them away so we can reclaim the guns. You know what? I think we can reclaim these. Why aren't you firing? You've got like oh, two people holding back. Come on. Get up here and fire canister. Okay, get those. Away. Uh, oh shit, this unit. Um, throw grenades. Get up. Get canister. Nice. Get up on the guns. Hold your fire, but I want you now to go up, stand behind and support this unit. We just blew up a ton of men there with the with the um, the grenades. I want canister flying through. I want to see canister going through the air, going towards the enemy. Right, we probably need to replace this unit. They have lost so many men so this one needs to fall back and become a reserve and this Highlander unit well Highland Grenadiers gonna take their spot good just as I <laughs> just as I retake the cannon position oh god look at that I'm not entirely sure what the fight firing quite far away it seems Go on, start firing canister. Okay, open fire, then get these guys away from us. No, actually, hold your fire. Um, cannon crew, can you fall back, please? What's going on on the rest of the line? Oh, crap, this so much going on. Let's see. We've got the Highlanders holding here. 235 men holding here. That's good. But I think right about here. Yes, here we got a problem. Uh, these guys just routed though. And these guys, we have a problem over here. Okay, so now I know what's going on. Uh, Ottoman cavalry over there. Basically the forest here needs to be dealt with. Right, these two are gonna go ahead, move up support over here. And we're gonna get the Hussars to come through here and chase away a lot of these enemies. Right, you're still holding the gun, good. Now all three guns need to fire up on this unit. This unit, oh, they managed to hold, that's good. But there's still, these two units are still going to be replaced. Hazards! Chase the enemy away. Give us some time to breathe. These actually have 200 men. Then these needs to be replaced more than them. One square. Anyways, we're gonna move 
what we could do is we can lower the area this one this one's holding and this one as well so we get the room for the two Highland Grenadiers to be in among there and then get this foot guard to retreat and become a reserve back there the Hussars are now chasing away the enemy go for the guns uh, Hussars spread out as much as possible and then I want you to just just kill everything Okay, cannons. Hold fire. Switch to round shot and then fire at will again. There's a mess going on everywhere. Okay, the hussars. Bit outnumbered here. And they're falling back. These hussars, though. It's an absolute slaughter as they chase down these enemies. There are some Mamluks trying to stop them. But at the same time, they're just chasing down all of these guys. Looks as though quite a lot of them still will be able to retreat from from the battle. But these Hussars are definitely just going to rake up the kills. Okay, so these guys are retreating. And they're bringing the enemy closer back here. These can, and unfortunately, they are... Kind of screwed, in a sense, with the amount of uh, men they have left and so forth. No, I want you to chase down. I want you to chase down the guys running. Don't. I don't care about the stupid mamluks. Get the infantry. Get rid of them. The ninth hussars made it through the line. Sixty of them made it through get the cannons roaring okay so we're gonna make sure that we set up nicely on the hill to make sure that we've got this flank covered so we got cannons to shot and the, uh, the cold stream guard firing upon them very unlikely to do very well and they got stakes in front of them if they're riding closer they are riding closer though come on get your guns going god we're probably gonna have a few artillery pieces getting destroyed after this for some reason they bug out like hell once uh, once it becomes like this Okay, this one only has three people left. That means at least you can get one cannon working. But I doubt you... Uh, doubt you will get it to work uh, even though... Uh, let's see the Hussars. Let's recall them. God, that was a lot of... That was messy. The enemy likes to just charge straight into everything without no thought whatsoever back into line and you will go back into line as well not entirely sure how necessary it is to hold this flank for now there's a few we could limit this flank but it depends on this two reinforcement army I think there were so we need still to keep an eye out for that ok cannons do I have all of you I want you guys to switch to round shot at this point because we're going to need the long range. And then I want you to target this area. Right there. Let's see if we can bounce some shots into that. Okay, so there are other reinforcements coming out through here. Let's see. If that is the correct ass ass assessment. I be Yeah, I believe so. Howard says... Firing, they're, f they're found finding their targets and so forth. Shots exploding in in the sky. We've got Mamluk unit chasing after the Hussars. Seems like they got shot to pieces. Get the Hussars in order. Oh yeah, the third Hussar 
retreated away. Got a single unit here of desert camel mercenaries. Get them shot to pieces. Unfortunately, I didn't get a lot of close up shots of this battle, but there were so many enemies. So I think people will understand if I had to co uh, focus on the strategic um, element of the battle. We have a few cannon shots being able to get over here. But the cannons are a bit buggy at this point. Oh, this guy, he's just coming back. Where have you been? Has he, he's probably been out looting the corpses. And he just came back to pretend to fire a shot. These guys, though, are firing. Yes, they are. This one's reloading, so I guess this one's firing as well. This one's not. This one's not either. This one's not firing either. God damn it. There's loads of crew on you. Why aren't you not firing? Just gave you the order to fire, but no, okay. Guess we're gonna have to rely on the howitzers to just blow everyone apart as they try to advance up upon us. What's these? I think these are getting new. The Felain. And then we've got more Armenian archers. I don't know how many bloody Armenian archers they had recruited. How useful could, could they probably uh, have possibly thought? that Armenian archers was going to do on my well-trained lines. Why are we even, you know what, these cannons just need to hold fire and then we'll advance these guys up ahead of them instead. And then we'll redraw the line out of the forest and march up. We're gonna get all of these guys to come up as well. Well, no surprise these guys are retreating. The uh, armed populace. And the Feladin are not too happy about charging uphill into that uh, kind of firepower as well. So they're going back. Plus they probably see all the dead bodies. And now when the artillery is coming in as well, it's probably not helping. The Armenian archers though. Are they gonna be able to? Probably not. Let's see, how much further do I... I would have to advance the cannons quite a lot to be able to fire into this mess. Of the uh, oh crap, they've got cannons coming in. Let's see, if I tell my cannon crew we need to advance a bit more though, so to give them ample uh, ample range to fire above the men of the front line. Then I'll tell them to target that cannon. Maybe then they will uh, get something done. Let's see. And also, it might provoke the cavalry to attack. Let's see if I can find the cannon. Uh, how far have we got? There we go. I can see it. I think. Yeah, there it is. Okay, let's see if he's coming through there. There we go. Fire on that bloody cannon. Let's see if that that got their attention. He's not even aiming the right way. Oh, well, now he is going to. So that cannon will fire. That cannon will fire. And that's about it. Two cannons. Even though we have plenty of crew to man more cannons. The Feladin and the Riskers of Soul are falling back. What's this? The Tartars. 
uh, firing uh, arrows at us. They're probably going to fall back pretty soon as well. I mean, they need them. They that the the fact that they can't really get the concept of massing up their troops again, going for another attack. Instead, they're coming one by one, marching into gunfire and uh, my artillery. Thing is, a lot of these units will come back for a for a second battle, won't they? We have cannon shot landing among the enemy here, which is good. Also, the enemy cannon is shooting their own men. We seem to have killed two cannons because they have... No, they have got three cannons left. Is they're just turning this one around. How many more men are going to come out of here? We've got Kurdish... Kurdish Hillmen is the latest unit. A lot of cavalry. A lot, a lot of these Armenian archers. Given the amount of Armenian archers they sent against me, they can't be any more Armenians left after this bad bloody battle. Keep up the fire! And this, this slowly just. Well, I guess the Tartars, since they're actually firing at us, probably doing a bit of damage. Not entirely sure. I haven't really seen the the Armenian archers fire. Well, they just fired. That looked to be effective, but I think it landed. The, it looked like the arrows landed short. It's pretty good though. Archers could be good because they can fire above, and they can fire in an arc, so you can you could hide them behind terrain like this, and then you could. Uh, have them fire above uh, those terrain features, which you can't really do with a musket ball. But that, it didn't look like the arrows were that uh, accurate. They seemed to be missing quite a lot. But we are missing quite a lot, given the fact that we've got full regiment giving. You know, everything they've got, and there's still quite a lot of men left in their lines. They're pretty close here, though. This is not going to work up for work for the long run. Oh, it looks like a few units have run out of ammo. This one has run out of ammo. This one's about to run out of ammo. Um, oh. A lot of the Coldstream Guard, I have to check that if the Coldstream Guard has less ammo maybe than the normal line infantry. We've got these guys which we can replace some of the front line units with. Um, I did have two of them at 250 strength but I guess this one is the one we can use. They're sending them up one by one. Here come the K Kurdish hillmen. And they're just marching into this. Maybe it's their plan to just get us to run out of ammo. And then just mass charge us with their cavalry. I'm hoping that the reinforcements have stopped coming. It, it kind of looks like it, they've stopped coming. Look at all the men retreating here. We're going to have to f face a lot of these guys again. Thing though is, we didn't lose that many men. I don't think we had... Well, we ca the cannons suffered a lot. These two units are out of ammo. These guys haven't really fired that much, have they? No? You know what, we can have the um, the line infantry guards then advance a bit. So they could advance and take up the position of uh, the uh, Coldstream guards. And the Coldstream guards can follow just in case, just to have that mass uh, backing them up. If you have stopped fires, you're out of ammo. You're out of ammo. 
Uh, where are you? No, you still have kind of a lot. You as well. Let's see, which is this? This one doesn't have a lot. Uh, which is this one doesn't have a lot. This one, same. Where's this one? This one's I have kind of long. These two. And these two. So it's really the flanks that need to be pushed into the center. <coughs> See if we can get up and hold this area. So we can fire from this position down upon the enemy. Okay, let's get get running, get into position quickly. This unit can take up this position. The Kurdish hillman has gone a few free fires upon us, but um, he's about to have four regiments fire back at him. Go on. Yeah, no. That's what you get. Probably should start running now, yeah. Combat winning slightly, I don't think so. Since there's only 59 of them left. Howitzers have stopped firing. Well then, I'll give you a target. Fire on those fella D. Are you gonna reload? No, they are... Oh, they need to reload. God damn it. I was hoping they were ready. But that's going to be a lot of fire coming down on those fellow Dean. Fellows. Here it comes. Throw shrapnel all around. It would, however, be more effective to use the... Um, the, what's it called? The quick climb shots because quick climb is incredibly overpowered. Get these two to replace this one because he doesn't have any ammo. And how about we get these three? Can you move up maybe? So you don't fire upon these guys moving up. Oh, they're all, they can all play stakes. Oh! Absolute destruction there of that unit. The Feladin unit got absolutely destroyed by the Howitzers. Howitzers! Fire now on the uh, pikemen. Oh, these guys are also out of ammo. At some point here, I, they sh probably should just call a general retreat. They only have a few cavalry units. Oh, we've got something turning up over there. Oh, they're just bloody archers forming, uh, setting up stakes. Okay, I think the howitzers probably should find another target because they're a little bit too close to our men. Fire upon that Armenian archer unit down there instead. That one shot though, that actually landed, killed off quite a few of them. And this is probably going to kill quite a lot of, oh they almost ran into it. Maybe we should switch to round shot. That increases the range, and we can hit the Mamluks. Old fire, the new front line. Okay, you guys also out of ammo. Uh, let's see, this one, it has a little bit of ammo left. Not really a lot. This one, this one did have a bit, did he? No, he's also out of ammo. Well, he's gonna form the backbone here and then I guess they can charge down hill. Um, 
these two chase down get rid of get rid of this Armenian archer and you two I want you to go all the way up there right I think we're seeing the end of the, the Ottoman army right here falling back these guys coming up are about to uh, just run out of ammo so let's just preempt them by charging downhill into them the black watch will charge oh that's not gonna do well for the Armenian archers only thing they have are small knives. That's not going to fare well against the Highlanders with the bayonets on. And the fact that the Highlanders as well are outnumbering the uh, the uh, what's it called? The Armenians are in that fight. Got enemies down there and we got enemies over there. Forwards. Is it camel mercenaries? Come on, enemy, just give give up at this point. There's no point in fighting. You have lost a long time ago. Let's get the heavy cavalry out there. Let's see, there's no stakes are being placed. There's a few around here, but let's get them there and then they can attack sweep the enemy away um, you know what the islanders will continue their charge into the Janissaries even though some of our infantry is firing upon them as well plus artilleries artillery shots are coming in they're retreating up the entire army is now in full retreat and we are victorious that took its time and the battle kind of crashed as well a few times I actually liked the first battlefield, how that looked, because that was a lot more hilly, but I guess this will do. And the, the battle, decisive victory. Great victory over the Ottomans. Ta ta ta. Boom. And here we have the statistics Braddock lost 2,200 men. The enemy army, however, lost 11,000 men, having 6,000 though remaining, compared to our 5,000 remaining. And uh, it looks, no, the cannons are still alive, which is good. They're gonna get, re these guys are gonna get reinforcements though. Nice, they retreated all the way back to wherever they came from. Right, we're gonna fall back to Damascus. The uh, Royal Irish is gonna still hold that. Is there another battle I need to fight? I don't think so. And, uh, you know, I thought maybe I would have time to meet. Well, you know what? We'll see about an end turn. Okay, so we are back after the end turn. Well, not really after the end turn, we're in the middle of the end turn. But I don't think we have time for this battle, so that's going to be in the next one, and we'll see if we're able to hold out against this very great force. 5,000 men against 3,000 holding the fort, although part of these 3,000 men are some kind of Bedouin warriors, f um, armed citizen, and militia, so not really a super good force compared with the Ottoman one. The good thing about the Ottoman force is their cannons a very low crew. So I imagine only one of the organ guns will be working and possibly two of the nine pounder artillery. But that's gonna have to wait to the next episode. Hopefully you enjoy this one and you'll come back for another one. Bye!